CKLA fourth grade, domain two, middle, middle ages. This is the reader, enrichment, Canterbury Tales, section two. Okay. A knight there was, and not a worthy man, who since he first rode out, loved chivalry, and truth and honor, largest and courtesy. And valid was he in a sovereign war, with no man had voyaged further, whether in Christian or in heathen lands. And he was honored for his worthiness. He helped when Alexandrian was won. He sat in Prussia on the table's head, above all knights from nations everywhere. He fought in Lithuania and Rus, more often than any Christian of his rank. A knight there were thy worthy man, that fro in time they first begin to ride in out to love chivalry, truth and honor, freedom and courtesy. Full of worthy was he and his lords were, and thou hadn't he ridden no man through, as well in Christian and hence, and every honor went through the this, and out to the world's one, and on to the beginning. Of all the nation in Prus, and had not already seduced, no Christian man had to this degree. He battled in Grenada at the siege of Augsburg. He rode in Bellamarie, and they stood in Sanity, they won. He fought with many a trip around the Mediterranean Sea, in 15 deadly battles with he fought, battles for our faith and chancery. Three times in this, and always killed his foe. With Lord of he always fought this night. The turkey got the heathen enemy, and always did this night gain great repute. Not only was he worthy, he was wise, and his behavior modest as a maid. He never once used coarseness in his speech, and all of his life with an immortal soul. He was true and perfect noble knight, and to inform you of the clothes he wore, his horse was good, his clothing adorned, unadorned. His shirt was fashioned with coarsest cloth, all rusty with the heavy coat of mail, for he had just returned from many trips and meant to go upon his pilgrimage. The girl on our sea, Galhad, El Foster, and Ronda Bellamy, and Lassie, the Lassie, when they were worn in the gritty sea, and many a noble arm had he be, and Morta Bellis had he for me, and fought his for a feat the trusty, and Lassie, and Lassie's fool, his height, worthy knight, had he the whole soul. Somewhat he went all the polity, again on all the hidden in Turkey. And evermore he has over prize, though he were not worthy as he was. I was poor as meek as a maid. He never yet villain made his aid, and all his life in an old man await, you know, very prolific night. The general tell us, you know, there's a way his horse was good, but he was not ye. Over the first she needs a right pen, his voice she sat of a gone. He was late to come to the village and went to him to a pilgrimage. And with him was his son, youthful squire. With curly locks, as if he had been curled aged twenty years, he was. I estimate his stature and middle height, I'd say, as agile as could be. Of great strength, he'd been riding with the cavalry, in Flanders, Archery, and Picadary. And while well did bear himself for one so young to gain approval of his lady friend, his clothes was broidered like a summer field, all filled with fresh flowers, white and red. He sang all day and played upon his flute. He was as fresh as a month of May. His gown was short, his sleeves were long and broad. He well could sit a horse and well he could ride. He made both tunes and words for his own songs, could fight and also dance and draw and write. Light he was and always humble, helpful, and carved before his father at the table. With him there on no son squire. With the ox cruel as he laid trees of twenty years of age, he was, I guess. Of his stature, he was even length. Wonderly delayed with great strength. And he hadn't been some time in chivalry and for all the archeries and Piccadilly, and born him wheel of such lace piece, and hoped to stoin his lady grace. And brutal was he, as he were made out of full fresh flowers, which he read, signals he forms that day. He was a fresh as the month of May. Short was his gown with sleeves long and wide, where cloth he seat on the horse the fairy ride. He sought to makes an elite, just to the codants of the pretty and right. Curtis he was a lovely and such a rule, and scattered the photos at the table. A young man was sole servant with his knight, who liked to travel with simplicity, all furnished out in coat and hood of green. He wore a sheaf of peacock arrows sharp, and pride beneath his belt just as it should, for he knew how to handle all of his gear, his perfect arrows never missed their mark, and in his hand he bore a mighty bow. He had a cross cross head to face the brow, in crafting woodwork he knew all the tricks, and on his wrist he bore an archer's guard, and on his side a sword and a little shield, and all of his other side he wore a dirk. Well anointed sharp as a spear, a silver Christopher shone on his breast. A hunter's horn he wore in the strap of green. He was an expert woodman, I guess. A human had he saw in snow, in our time for him thus rigged so. 
And he was clad in Colton hood of green, a sugar pickle corrales bright and keen. Under his belt he bowed full lucky, while Cody dressed the top for me. The owls dropped notes, lay feathers low, and in his hand he bare a mighty blow. And nod he'd hurry he with brawn visage on woodcraft beauty could not to usage. Upon his arm he bowed a great boss, and on his side a sword and a buckle, and on the other side a gee kegir. At last she wheeled a chop with pointy down, and Christopher on his breast of silver sheen, as one and barla broke up green, if all she was he, so the as I guess. That is the end, my friends. Thank you for joining me in this fourth grade reader. Have a good day.